So today we're going to talk about the Neolithic Revolution. So to begin, we need to we need to understand what the word revolution means. Okay, and revolution means a drastic change. All right, so for the Neolithic Revolution to make any sense, we need to first talk about what it was like before the revolution, so we know what we're changing out of. So before the Neolithic Revolution was a period called the Paleolithic era. Okay, and this paleo means old. So we got old Stone Age over here, and then Neolithic means new. Neo means new, so we got the new Stone Age. Let me go ahead and uh, label my timeline here. Paleolithic could be from uh, 2 million BC all the way up to, let's say, 10,000 BC. Okay, and of course these times aren't exact. Uh, it's not like one day the, the cavemen realized, oh, we're in, we're in a new age. This is the Neolithic Revolution. This is something historians and and people have come up with at a later date, and 10,000 BC is just kind of a nice even number, and it happened somewhere around there. So, what exactly happened? In the Paleolithic era, everybody was... Go ahead and create this. People were nomadic. Okay, nomadic means they moved around. Okay, they were hunters. And they were gatherers. That was their primary concern, right? They woke up in the morning. Uh, they didn't have a surplus of food. They didn't have extra food. They had to figure out, okay, where am I going to get my food? I have to go hunt. I have to go gather. I have to find food. So that was the, basically the lifestyle in the Paleolithic era. Okay, 10,000 BC comes along, and something happens. A lot, most people aren't, well, nobody's really sure exactly what happened, but we do know that agriculture... Agriculture developed so people started farming now why they started farming is what I meant when I said nobody knows exactly what happened uh, Did they start farming because? They could no longer hunt enough food to survive or did they just figure out how to farm? Was it the end of the ice age? So now the weather was good for farming that question kind of remains unknown The main thing though in the Neolithic Revolution is the advent of agriculture, right? People started farming all right, and then they also uh, domesticated animals. Domesticated animals. So what does that mean? It means uh, humans can use them. All right, so that could mean an ox uh, pulling a plow. It could mean you're raising cows for milk and for meat. Okay, because we are going from a nomadic lifestyle, we are no longer nomadic. We are no longer hunter-gatherer. We are practicing agriculture. That means we are living in permanent settlements. Okay, humans are living in permanent settlements. So let's talk about settlement patterns really quickly. What do I mean when I say settlement patterns? I mean, where did people settle and why did they settle there? So I'm referring to ancient civilizations, the first civilizations that were started. Okay, we have one here near the Nile in Egypt. We have the Tigris and Euphrates River here in Iraq, the Indus River in India, and then finally the Yellow River in China. So all these ancient civilizations, they developed independently, and they all developed near rivers. So there has to be something to that. There has to be a reason, and there is a reason. Rivers provide a source of water for agriculture. Remember, the Neolithic Revolution is all about farming, all about agriculture, right? That's what the revolution was, so they needed water uh, for the agriculture. So I want to go ahead and uh, review a word we learned earlier in the year. Rivers also created functional regions. All right, and functional regions are regions that work together, right? If you remember that. And they work together because the river serves as a transportation network, right? You can travel up and down the river. You can use the river for irrigation. It can, it can serve as a functional region.
All right, another point I want to make is how the population density changed during the Neolithic Revolution or because of the Neolithic Revolution. Before the Neolithic Revolution, when people were hunter-gatherers, uh, nomadic, they lived off the land, they had to travel, the population density was very small. And all population density means, guys, is how many people live in a given area, so in a certain area. So my green box represents the area, and in the old way, it might have been, oh, two or three dots, right? Not very many people there. You needed a lot of land to support people because you had to hunt animals, you had to survive, right? You couldn't have too many people on the land, otherwise there wouldn't be enough animals to feed them. After the Neolithic Revolution, when agriculture was developed, you had a food surplus. There was plenty of food so people could live on a much smaller area of land, right? So there's going to be a lot more dots. A lot more people can live off this same green box of land, right? What other effects did the Neolithic Revolution cause? And there were a few of them. The first one is specialization. All right, specialization means because they were in permanent settlements, because there was agriculture, uh, because there was a surplus of food, meaning extra food, some people didn't have to spend their whole time gathering food, right? They could actually spend their time doing other things. They could specialize. They could specialize in something or get good at something. So they might uh, get good at making pottery or uh, working with leather, creating leather goods. Okay, socially, how did things change? In the Paleolithic era, people were nomadic. They uh, went from place to place. They lived in smaller groups, maybe 20 or 30. And now you're living in cities, you're living in, in much larger areas, and you're in a permanent place. So social relationships are going to change. A social hierarchy developed. Social hierarchy. Okay, and a hierarchy is usually visualized like this, with uh, some people being at the top of the hierarchy, so the elite, the elite being at the top, and common people being at the bottom. So a social hierarchy started to develop. Many people believe that inequality also increased between men and women. All right, this final slide just lists some questions you need to know the answer to. So how did the Neolithic Revolution change settlement patterns? We talked about that. People lived uh, in permanent locations near rivers. Population density increased. How did the Neolithic Revolution create functional regions? Of course, those those rivers they lived by uh, provided transportation networks, and so those were functional regions. They worked together. And then how did the Neolithic Revolution change social interactions? And it changed social interactions because people lived together. They lived in close proximity. So a social hierarchy started to develop. Uh, inequality between men and women also increased. So these are some questions you need to know the answer to uh, when you think about the Neolithic Revolution and when we end up uh, testing over the Neolithic Revolution.